Today we're going to find the probability of a given problem using uh, the normal distribution. And for this problem, we're going to be using the Z table. So if you don't have a TI-84, you can still solve for the area under the normal curve using the Z table or the values that we are using in statistics. So let's start with the first problem. So in this case, we have the GPAs of all students enrolled at a large university and it's said to be um, having an approximately normal distribution with a mean of 3.05 and standard deviation of 0.27. We need to find the probability that the mean GPA of the random sample of 20 students will be as follows. So the first set of problem or probability is the probability that the mean GPA is less than 2.98. The other one is greater than 3.01 and the mean GPA that it's in between 2.90 and 3.07. So let's go ahead and start problem number one. So in the first problem, we need to find the probability that the mean GPA is less than or equal to 2.98. Now, to illustrate the normal curve of this distribution, because it says it's approximately normal, the mean will be in the middle and it's going to be 3.05. And we need to find the probability that the mean GPA of the 20 students or the sample of 20 students is below 2.98. And 2.98 is below 3.05, so let's say this is 2.98. And we need to find the probability that the students in this sample will have a GPA less than 2.98. Now, to solve this problem using the Z table, we need to use the Z score formula. And the Z score formula is given by x minus mu all over sigma. Now, since we are given the sample size, we need to take that into account. So since this is sampling distribution, the formula for the z-score will be modified. It will be x minus mu all over sigma divided by the square root of the sample size. So this will be the formula that we are going to be using for this problem because the sample size is given in this distribution. So using our values, since we're going to be using all those values in our all three problems. The mu is 3.05, the standard deviation is 0.29, and the sample size is 20. So using the formula, x is 2.98 minus mu of 3.05 all over sigma of 0 0.29 divided by the square root of 20. Now we're going to use our cal calculator to solve for the z-score. And it's pretty straightforward if you have your um, graphing calculator. So you have 2.98 minus 3.05 divided by 0 0.29 over the square root of 20. And we have a z-score of negative 1.08. So we're going to be using two decimal places. Now since we are now uh, using the z-score and not the raw score, we are basically looking at the mean of 0 for a standard normal curve and negative 1.08 is, let's say, somewhere here. Negative 1.08 and we're looking for the area under the curve. Now we're ready to use our z table using the negative value. So we have two sets of table right here. One is negative and one is positive. We're using the negative values. And to read the, or to be able to use the z table, you need to know how the horizontal and the vertical axis tells you. So in this case, negative 1.08 means we need to use negative 1.0 negative 1.0 is somewhere here at the bottom. So this is your negative 1.0. And since we're looking for negative 1.08, so 0 0.08 is somewhere here. So we are going to find the intersection of that two points. So negative 1.0, and this is negative 0 0.08. 
so we have negative 1.08 which is 0 0.1401 0 0.1401 so the area under the curve using the table is approximately equal to 14 percent so this is how we use the z table to find the area so to answer our question to find the probability that the mean gpa is less than or equal to 2.98 it's equal to 14.01 percent And this is how we use the table of values to find the probability of a normal distribution. Now let's go ahead and answer problem number two. And just like what we did on problem number one, we need to illustrate the sample mean that is greater than 3.01. And since it's approximately normal, this is 3.01. I mean, this is 3.05, and 3.01 is a little bit under 3.05, so let's say this is 3.01. And we need to find the area under the curve that is greater than or equal to 3.01. So we know that our area under the curve should be over 50%. So this is just our guide to know that we are using the correct values of the Z table. So to find the Z score of 3.01, we will be using the formula again. So the Z score is X minus mu all over sigma square root of N, since the sample size is 20. And uh, using the substitution method, we'll have X of 3.01 minus 3.05 all over 0 0.29 divided by the square root of 20. And by using the calculator again, we'll have 3.01 minus 3.05 divided by 0.29 Point twenty nine over the square root of 20. And it gives us a z-score value of negative 0 0.62. Negative 0 0.62. All right. So in our z table now, so this is just the same as this one, but I'm just converting it to the standard normal curve. This is 0. And this is negative 0 0.62. And we need to find the area to the right of negative 0.62. So using the table of values, you should understand that the Z table will always give you the area to the left of the curve. So basically, the area that we are going to be seeing will be the complement of this region right here. So if we use our z table negative point sixty zero sixty negative zero point sixty two negative zero is right here point sixty two so it's somewhere here so right here at the bottom and sixty two is on the third column so using the z table so let me put it pull it up right here so negative 0.62, third column is 0 0.2676, so the area of negative 0 0.62 is giving us 0 0.2676. So we know that this area here, the region under the curve, is not going to be 26% or 30%. It should be over 50%, so that means we need to get the complement of the area that is being given to us by the Z table. So what we're going to do to find the value of the region is to subtract our area from 1. So 1 minus 0.2676. 
So using our calculator, 1 minus 0.2676 is giving us 0.7324. So 0.7324. So the area here that we're looking for is 0.7324 for according to our illustration. So to answer the question, the probability that the mean GPA is greater than 3.01 is approximately equal to 73.24%. So this is problem number two. Now let's go ahead and find the probability of number three. Now, number three is a little bit different from the two of them because we're looking at the area in between the two values of x, which is 2.9 and 3.07. So, for number three, the probability that the sample mean is in between 2.90 and 3.07. Using the normal curve, this is, this is 3.07, 2.90. Uh, 3.07, so 2.07 here, and 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07, 3.07
2.6217. So the area of 2.90 is negative 2.31, and the area of 3.07 is 0.6217. So if we're going to draw this, this is 0, and this is negative 2.31. This is 0.31. So to find the area in between these two regions, all we need to do is to subtract this region right here from this region, and we'll get the intersection of the two. So by using the calculator, um, 0 0.6217, 0 0.6217, minus 0 0.0104 is giving us 0.6113. So the area in between the two region is 0.6113. So going back to our problem, and if we're going to answer it in the context of the problem, the probability that the mean GPA of the 20 students is in between 2.90 and 3.07 is about 61.13%. And this is how we uh, solve for the probability of a normal approximation or normal distribution using the Z-table.